Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode right here. My name is Peter Ojun and I am your host on V-City today. Today we're going to be talking about a university that a lot of people have requested and it's also a pretty popular university. This university is known as Brandon University. Brandon University is located in the city of Brandon, which is located in Manitoba, which is located in Canada. It has an enrollment of students of about 3,662 students as of 2018 who are full-time and part-time undergraduate and graduate students. Brandon University is one of the very few predominantly undergraduate liberal arts and sciences institutions in Canada. You see, Brandon University has a student-to-faculty ratio of 11 to 1. And 60% of all classes have fewer than 20 students. Fewer than 20 students. Imagine. Although people may underestimate the quality of, you know, the Brandon University education, the small class sizes and the personal relationships with the professors, they, it, makes it, it makes it worthy of consideration. Like you have to still take a look at this university. In 2015, the McLean's rankings of primarily undergraduate Universities in Canada, Brandon University was ranked 16 out of 19 overall and number one in the student to faculty ratio category. So this school still has quite some accolades. So what I'm trying to say here is that BU is one of the only universities in Canada to have a department of applied disaster and emergency studies. In addition to a variety of undergraduate programs, the university also offers graduate programs in education, music, psychiatric nursing, rural development, and environmental and life sciences. They have a strong focus on the Aboriginal education. If you don't know what that is, it's talking about the First Nations and uh, the the natives of the land. Uh, Aboriginal education offering several language courses, a Department of Aboriginal Art and Drawing, and a Department of Native Studies. So there's also an Indigenous People Center on campus. It's not, I mean, other universities have that too, but... You see, they even have an Aboriginal student council in Brandon University, which is pretty cool as well. So the School of Music in Brandon University is rated as one of the best in Canada. And the school has one of the lowest tuition in Canada. And that is fact. One of the lowest tuition in Canada and is rated one of the best in Canada in terms of their music education. So if you're really interested in music, you should definitely check out Brandon University. So... The the information about tuition and, and things like that would be on the screen. That way you can get more information. And if you have questions, you can feel free to ask. But I want to go on to some things that have to do with the location of the university and things like that. All right. So if you don't like the outdoors, be warned. Because Brandon isn't filled with the most exciting things to do every day. So it's like the youth in Brandon, they seem to be a little bit of... <laughs> This is not my opinion. Someone said this, but uh, they seem to be a little bit rough in Brandon. But uh, if it's a good fit for you, if Brandon is a good fit for you or your family or whatever, it depends on what your interests and values are. So it's worth spending a long weekend there, say Thursday till Monday or Thursday till Sunday and just see how you feel about the, the see how you feel about the environment. The other the other thing is that it's still it's a safe place to be in. It's safe even in the poorest towns of it's safe even in the poorer part of town. If you go to the east end and across the tracks on the North Hill, it's still pretty relatively safe. Everything you need to live comfortably is around you, okay? Everything you need to live comfortably is around you in Brandon. And Winnipeg is only two hours away. So if you need that big city vibe, that big city experience, you can just travel to Winnipeg. Also, someone said, I live... Th- I'm going to read this. Someone said, I live there and found it boring. But then again, that was at a time when I wanted to spread my wings and see the world after graduation. So maybe you would enjoy it. I'm sure if you immerse yourself into your studies and find good fellow BU friends, you'll be fine. Guess you won't know if unless you try. Have you been there to check it out yourself? That would be an important first step if I were you. If you enjoy the outdoors, riding mount, if you enjoy the outdoors, Riding Mountain National Park is very handy and a gorgeous place to be at at any time of the year. So that's good information for you to understand. Like basically what he's saying here is that he enjoyed his time there, but it was quite quiet and a little bit boring. But 
you need to check it out yourself to be sure if this is a good fit for you. Also, the outdoors, uh, if you like, you know, hiking and things like that, the Riding Mountain National Park is a nice place for you to go to. Also, let me move on to something else. You know, I would call this the city vibe. It's the second largest city in Manitoba. So Brandon does still have many restaurants, bars, and coffee shops, all within a short walk from the university. So it's a several. It, 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 there's a lot of museums and art galleries and music festivals, and also just things going on all around. So I, you can be guaranteed that I mean it's not like a dead city, all right. So don't, don't I don't want to make it look like a place where you can, <laughs> where you can't do anything else. Anyway, if you prefer a more active lifestyle, the city does still have a walking and bicycle path uh, for people who, you know, who just enjoy biking to work and one and, and biking to school. There's uh, public pools and in winter there's an outdoor skating oval and several community centers have rinks outdoors so you can like play hockey and things like that. So it's really up to you at this point. I hope this information has been valuable to you. On this channel, we bring to you the best content there is on the internet to ensure that you have the best education in your career. Anyway, if you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And, you know, put your comments in the comment section below. If you've been to Brandon University before or if you've studied there, hey, let us know what you think. Are we right? Are we wrong? Have yourself a wonderful day. And thank you so much.